key to the city. <laughs> 2023 signified not only a new year. I sit right here and there's a name plaque that usually sits right here, which is great, because otherwise I wouldn't remember where I sat. But with it, a new face to the Oakdale City Council. I bet you didn't know I was not Joe. Maybe even two of the same. I've got an identical twin brother too. So he'd come to council meetings or campaign events that we were doing. Everyone thought it was great. Andy Morcom and his family moved to the city 10 years ago, attracted by working class families with deep roots in the community. And we kept meeting more people that own local businesses, that live in the neighborhoods, that have lived here since they were little kids, 30, 40, 50 years. With a family history built on military service, Morcom grew up a Boy Scout, was class president, and was a foster parent along with his wife for six years. He was determined to put in the work on council before he was even elected. But I actually had really, really good advice from someone when I decided to run, and they said, if you're really serious about it, you need to show up to every single council meeting and every single workshop from August until January when you, you take charge. And I did that. With a background in business and sales management, Morcom earned his master's in public and nonprofit administration last May, taking classes on nights and weekends for 10 years. I, Andy Morcom, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Wanting to serve more people, he transitioned his career now working for Lutheran Social Services of Minnesota the largest human service nonprofit in the state. It really boils down to taking care of people. I'm a, you know, you take care of the people around you and then people in turn want to take care of you too. He extends that care as a council member, hoping to help those in need. A lot of people need help and they just don't know how to go about getting it. Um, but in terms of priorities, some people choose to run for office because they've got a huge concern about one item or they've got really big ideas about other items here. Primarily, I decided to run because I just wanted to serve. Morcom encourages residents to connect with him and sees himself as an ambassador. Anytime I get from someone from the city that asks me about being a city council member, I want to tell them about how many departments we have, over 130 staff in the city. Now, I'm excited to have the chance here to go out and do a ride along with our police department and I, I'm going to do a ride along with our fire department as well just to learn more about all the work that goes into running the city. Time commitment is pretty significant, right? As far as his political aspirations, he says he plans to spend the next four years learning, sure only of his desire to serve and preserve Oakdale's community feel. Oakdale is growing so fast right now. I want to find ways to keep people engaged and connected so we keep that feel so people want to stay here for a long time.